We're the Wilson sisters. We live and breathe horses. We ride them, train them, show them, and fall off them. Vicky's the oldest. She's what we call the talent because she's good at everything. Vicky so. took all the bravery in the family. I love extreme, fast, a little bit dangerous, a little bit scared. Kelly, she's like our media rep. And smile. She's the girly one, the princess. If something's going to go wrong and I'm involved, it's drama times five. And then there's me, Amanda. I'm the baby of the family. <laughs> Amanda's always been the mischief maker. I'm the entertainer, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> We're unorthodox. Competitive. But hey, I got it! I got it, that was me. That was me, there were two shots. And don't hold back. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Me and my sisters are about to take on our wildest ride yet, saving New Zealand's Kaimanawa horses and training them for the first ever National Wild Stallion Challenges. But there'll be casualties on both sides. No guarantees of success. Oh, it's very disappointing and he's not enjoying it at all. My horse is gonna be ridden by little kids in a week. In one week. <laughs> Kelly. And it might get a little out of hand. Excuse me, it's this right. is right. And I have a bikini on. The name of the game is to tame our stallions in time for the challenge and prove to everyone these wild horses are worth saving. But can we do it? It's going to be a wild ride. Tonight, the muster of the wild Kaimanawas begins. It's a foul. I can't believe they've actually tried to bring it in. Which six stallions can we say? Is the dapple grey with the long dreadlocks going to disorder? And what unexpected news shocks us all? This sucks. It's a beautiful red sky on the morning of the muster in the Kaimanawa Ranges. You didn't show me that. Quickly. Ah! Is it snow? That's so exciting. Kelly and I are heading to the muster briefing at the Army headquarters in Waiuru. I can barely see out my front window and I can barely see out of my back window. So I hope there's no car coming. I'm really excited, but a little bit scared. These Kaimanawas are seriously wild. The country is just like the horses. Wild, rugged, beautiful. The rangers have been their home for over a hundred years. Most were farm escapees or unwanted horses just dropped off on the desert road. Welsh ponies, thoroughbreds, Clydesdales. Now the numbers have grown and they're a real mixed bunch of wild horses. They can be small, but they're tough, competitive, and have a free spirit that you just don't find in other horses. The opportunity to train a completely wild horse is so cool. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Hello. It's only our second muster, but we've gotten to know the regulars pretty well. So excited, you girls. I love it. I love it. So cool. Nobody loves the wild horses more than Elder Jinx. He runs a charity that puts huge effort into giving them a bright future. If I could. Is the dapple grey with the old, with the long dress? I went and told we want I went and told John Tullock about it. He says, oh, I bet you I'll be a bastard of a horse. <laughs> I said, okay, thank you, John. <laughs> Vicky was not impressed. On top of the stallions and the two greys, we also saved three mares that need to be tamed. And we have a business to run. <laughs> We're just gonna stay here and look pretty. While Vicky does all the hard work. It's the joy of our life, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just talked to Kamano Heritage Horses. Every single stallion for the first time in history has been rehomed. That's been suitable to rehome. Wow. Okay, so I was really happy, like happy, happy about that. Yes. They've got mares and foals in the slaughter pen. Um, well, the foals. How many? Uh, foals, is yeah, it? Yeah, foals. How? They just didn't have enough trucks and didn't have enough homes, and there's foals left over in the slaughter pen. Sad. Yeah. Oh, That's I can't right believe they're sitting foals in this. sucks. Okay. Yeah, and it'll be too late to save them too. Like, I know it's a very emotional thing, what everything that we've done, but just getting the news about the foals 
kind of thought it's kind of like makes you appreciate these ones a hell of a lot more. So I'm very excited to see what they are. There's some pretty wild ponies in there, Kelly. You ready? Oh, the gray at the back's very pregnant. This one's cute, Ed. It's like an army tank. Your grey's a bit cut up, Kelly. Oh, and Vicky touched him. Vicky touched him before me. Vicky, you can't touch him before me. That's not fair. Well, he's got blood everywhere, Kelly. Oh, they've had a pretty gruelling few days. Only 15 horses went to slaughter this year, compared to 72 that went in the last muster, which is pretty amazing. Hopefully next time all the healthy horses will be rehomed. We got a phone call this morning and it's really, really good news. Uh, all the foals were saved, which is fantastic. And now we can't wait to check out our kaimanawas. This chestnut I love. You do? Mm. The, the bay colt and the black colt are both Amanda's. And then this big grey one here. Big Clyde boy, that's mine. And the little chestnut mare beside it. So this is Alda, the really, really old boy that was going to slaughter. Oh my he's, um, he's mine. In the wild, he was impressive and strong and powerful and he'll come back to that. It knocks him back a lot, the travel and the yarding process. Vicky is so fearless. She's the only one of us brave enough to get in there. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. What's it, going? Okay. Come on. Go. Isn't that sad? I hate that bit. Oh, honest. Although they scare me, Getting on that truck must be terrifying for them. 24 hours ago, they were running free. No yards, no humans, and no noisy trucks. Hey, hey, hey. I'm really sorry, kids. Vicky will be following close to keep an eye on them. So glad that we got them out. Right now I'm glad. I might not be glad when they <laughs> kick me and bite me. Yeah, every time they bite me, I'm like, should have said that one slaughter. <laughs> and so an epic journey begins, not only for the wild horses, but all three of us too. From the cold of the Kaimanoa Ranges to the beaches of sunny Northland. I believe every horse has the chance to be a superstar. Um, not necessarily just with jumping, but with anything we do in life. And it's just allowing them to realise that potential. Next time. Oh. There's just 150 days to get our challenge stallions up to scratch. So the battle begins. I don't like it we can do that. With plenty of hair-raising moments oh. and curveballs to keep us on our toes. It's a total disaster. 